Good day to everyone. Uh, okay, welcome to my uh, video presentation once again. Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm uh, Engineer Jun Ugarte, uh, the Senior Project Site Engineer at the Technofusion Construction and Development uh, Corporation, uh, which is uh, headed by our President uh, Engineer Phil uh, Pangilinan. This is actually a SEC registered company and uh, we're engaged in uh, MEPS design and uh, construct and consultancy at the same time. We are also conducting a series of uh, seminar and modular topics which will enhance your technical skill and knowledge in uh, design and calculations. You can see the details in these uh, uh, services that we have. We can offer to you and the technical seminars at the end of this uh, video presentation. You can uh, uh, just watch and see. Okay. The topics is a uh, short circuit using the basic point to point methodology and this is going to be a step by step procedure that uh, we are going to apply and also we are going to calculate the line to line and the line to neutral all at the same time in a parallel method for the single phase uh, system because as a vanilla hitting two birds in uh, one stone so what are we looking in this uh, short circuit uh, tutorial in this particular method we shall be determining the short circuit faults at the terminal of the transformer using the uh, table 4c values of the conductors and uh, of course the this is a PC and EC reference and by the impedance table charts and also by our calculation of results <clears throat> at the same time we shall also calculate and uh, determine the short circuit uh, available at the various uh, distances from a transformer using the uh, table 4 uh, C values conductors and also the impedance charts okay let me show you the uh, okay this is the uh, one line uh, diagram this is where we are going to base our calculations with all this uh, data and the inputs in this one line diagram. <coughs> okay, we have a the transformer of the uh, the, uh, tra the, the transformer specs. Uh, we have it here 165 kVA. It's a single phase center tap. Actually, this is 12240, and the impedance is already stated here in the specs. And then the fold one, fold two locations and the fault we have three fault locations here and uh, we also have uh, the the conductors that were used here 500 kcm 250 in the steel raceways and i already taken this uh, value of this 500 uh, from this table c value which is equal to 22,185 all right at the same time also we i have uh, the uh, one number two aw 30 mm square per page in the steel raceway and I always uh, already uh, taken this uh, C value of this particular uh, wire here which is uh, 5902 okay note that uh, uh, we have the assumption that uh, there is no motor load source circuit contribution in our calculation okay just in case if you are going to ask uh, there's a contribution of the motor or what is the formula what are the formula that we're going to use or the method that we're going to use okay let me share this to you if this is in a three phase uh, system uh, the formula for this uh, uh, in taking this uh, motor contribution is that uh, we are actually allowed or in practical estimate uh, by we are allowed to use this four or six value uh, for our motor contribution and we, we are going to use this for okay if we have the 100 percent motor contribution we have to do this uh, calculation four times the fla of the transformer uh okay yeah, there the fla of the flc and you have to add this in the short circuit available in the three phase system rms uh, that we have calculated you have to have everything here so this is going to be uh uh, in every uh, search circuit available downstream if you have the 50 percent 
uh, motor contribution we have to use the same uh, saying here 4 times the FLA times the 50% and plus the ISCA the available share circuit and the three phase system RMS and you also have to uh, add this uh, all at the same time downstream in the short circuit available parameters shall be calculated okay now the formula equations we're going to find out for the uh, short circuit available in the transformer terminal for the line to line and the line to neutral the formula here everything is uh, basically the same except for this 1.5 but it's now 50 percent here what is actually the main reason for this uh, 50 percent here according to the source that i have read that uh, this 50 percent additional that in the line to neutral short circuit available transformer is that uh, the line to neutral fault carrying in this uh, system is uh, a little bit higher than the line to line or the face to face uh, fault current at the terminals of the single phase uh, center tap assuming that the neutral conductor is the same with the line conductor that is uh, what's the reason why we have this 50% uh, additional here and now what is this 0 0.9 what did, did, where did it come from here this one actually came from the transformer that we are going to use which is a UL listed transformer where the actual impedance value on the UL listed 25 kilo volts transformer or higher can vary plus or minus 10% under this condition and so it will uh, definitely affect its uh, short circuit available current the 0 0.9 actually is uh, the 100% minus 10% uh, that's the way you have this 0 0.9 uh, this is actually the high end worst case scenario which shall be adapted in the calculation as uh, it will give more current in your system rather than the 1.5 or the 100% plus 10% 1.1 1 .1, I mean sorry uh, value which is the low end of the worst case scenario so that is the reason why we are going to use 0 0.9 okay in the uh, 2% uh, impedance times the 0 0.9 which is equal to 1.8 new impedance uh, where you can notice this uh, which is uh, this 1.8 is slightly higher than the chart and the table of the manufacturer and the NEMA standard which is only 1.6 well according to the reason according uh, the main reason is that uh, of the voltage of fluctuation that uh, changes the the impedance uh, value that's one reason if you can notice that we do not have the inductance and the uh, reactance in uh, in this particular calculation because this is already uh, embedded in the impedance of value uh, even in your software uh, computer software it's great to use so uh, when you do the calculation you need to have a licensed software like the ETAP or or the SKM or PTW or whatever but you need to have one okay let's go to this uh, calculation here you have the line to line fault here and then you have the step one is you have to find the full load current or the FLA of the this, uh, transformer and you have the 167 times uh, 1000 divided by 240 you have the 695 which will be the same calculation also in this line to neutral you also do the 692 uh, okay and also the multiply is 100 percent c times uh, 29 you have two percent you have also the same in the line to neutral as that of the line to line they have different uh, calculation and value results except for the step number three where to find transformer with search circuit as according to the uh, formula we have here the fla times m1 we have the 38,000 multiply this uh, 695, 55 and for the line to neutral this is going to be a different one because of the 1.25 uh, this is going to be 57,980 amperes ok now let's go to the next F factor formula we are going to calculate the F factor formula for the line to line 
bolts yeah, basically they are the same except for the line to line voltages and the line to neutral this one will have a 240 line to line voltage applying here in this formula and uh, in the line to neutral we are going to apply the 120 volts uh, both uh, the equation is going to be uh, the same equation but uh, different uh, factor so these are the length of the conductors and fault and also this uh, constant values so we are going to see this later the number of conductor per phase whether they are in parallel and a single one or per phase or one only and the available circuit current the uh, circuit voltage and the two is for the single phase formula and uh, 1.732 is for the three phase formula okay that's it let's go for the fault in, and the x2 calculation as per as per our one line diagram so the line to line fault uh, we have to find the f factor there and we have already the uh, the uh, determine the formula for the f factor in the line to line which is uh, this is a two for the single phase and 25 feet and this is the short circuit at the terminal base terminal this is 38,653 divided by the C factor of the 500 KCM or the 250, 22,185 times 2 because this is two sets. Okay, you have a parallel, two sets times 240 volts. You have uh, this uh, 0 0.18. And we go to this line to neutral, the 2. Okay, you have this 57 at the uh, Share circuit terminal 57,980 here. Okay, then uh, we have the result the F factor is 0 0.58 because we only have this uh, difference here 120 with the same, this uh, we have the same conductors and the share circuit uh, in the terminal is 57. Okay, now we have this uh, 37,694. Alright. Let's go to the fault three. Okay, the fault three is we have uh, 20, I mean this uh, 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 two, number two AWG or the 30 mm squared. And we have the C factor value, which is equivalent to 5,702. We have the one because we only have one base. We only have one uh, two W for base. Okay, so this one is not two, this is the one times 240 uh, you have the two for the single phase the 20 feet the the search circuit at the uh, fault uh, 3 location 32468 and so you have this uh, 0.92 so at the same time the same thing with the uh, uh, line to neutral we have the uh, short search circuit at the fault location 3 and uh, and uh, two times uh, 20 feet times 2 and also you have the one here, the C factors value, 20, 22 and 120. You have the F factor is uh, 2.12. So if you multiply this, your M1 factor is going to be 0 0.55. This one is 0 0.3. And you have this uh, as your circuit available for the line to ground, 12,000, 0 0.47. And for the line to neutral, for the uh, 6,803 in the fault uh, three locations. Okay, this is a table of the conductor. So we have this uh, uh, 5,000, the uh, 22,185. And uh, this one is actually uh, quite a little bit, uh, cannot be read. But uh, the value here is 1.6 for the 167. If you have this uh, impedance on a reactance chart table, you can see this one. That's the reason why it's, it's a slightly different because of the voltage fluctuation. Okay. After that, uh, you have not finished it because uh, if we are con to consider this uh, uh, typical commercial building here, uh, we have already computed this, uh, say for this uh, uh, terminal uh, ISC available circuit and this, uh, this uh, 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 disconnect switch available circuit here. We have the LSV. LSV uh, v, uh, uh, low voltage switch gear here okay this is the low voltage switch gear we uh, have uh, already uh, calculated this uh, short circuit available here in this uh, particular uh, um, panel and you have the panel uh, different uh, panel here for all the 
penance and actually uh, what you're going to do here is you still have the uh, job to uh, calculate all this uh, short circuit here okay uh, by using the computer your licensed computer software that's the only thing that you can do <laughs> the calculation for this one you can see this uh, bt salon here is uh, near this uh, uh, transformer so if you have the nearest uh, panel uh, uh, for the calculation method, uh, this is uh, this uh, actually uh, will have a voltage drop, uh, I mean, a low voltage drop uh, compared to this uh, uh, further panel board here, which uh, will uh, have uh, uh, this uh, voltage will have a high voltage uh, drop in this particular one. So uh, you have to match all the calculations because uh, if you have uh, uh, a panel board uh, uh, which is uh, closer to your transformer you're gonna have a uh, high uh, short circuit calculation I mean short circuit uh, available circuit here but uh, which is uh, but you have uh, also the uh, high uh, voltage drop in this particular uh, situation so the mitigation for that is to increase the size of wire actually I, I do not know uh, but that is uh, the only uh, way that I can be uh, that I can uh, think of all right so that's uh, you're going to use the your computer software when uh, you are calculating this uh, particular panel board uh, uh, search kit calculation okay well, actually, uh, if you can notice that the uh, the short circuit uh, is uh, the calculation is coming from the uh, terminal of the transformer. The short circuit uh, available current there is too high. As you go downstream. Uh, that is a very good uh, uh, actually a result because uh, in uh, the search circuit uh, when you go downstream uh, that is going to have a less damage and uh, also with the less protection gear when you work on uh, that uh, it's, it's already the, uh, the R plus is uh, actually less there and also the blast the R plus and also the arc fault and at the same time you will have a cheaper equipment to use that's uh, the good thing about the uh, source circuit calculation but however this is uh, the opposite of the voltage trap actually <laughs> if you have a, uh, uh, say if your if your panel is uh, less uh, I mean closer to your transformer you have a uh, uh, less voltage drop, lower voltage drop compared to the uh, farther channel or the distribution panel actually you're going to use this I mean the computation of the, volt of the circuit calculations is only for the distribution panel if you have a uh, distribution panel there so that is basically the, the concept of the uh, short circuit calculation well what else uh, can I uh, can I now show you my company uh, services? This is Technofusion. We are actually uh, conducting a training seminar, enhancing uh, enhancing knowledge. The disability points and certificate for participation is issued also here. And we just uh, concluded and finished the motor starting November nine. That's November nine with our uh, speaker, engineer. Uh, Balmis, who is a PE and also in general field. And this is our next latest technical seminar topics here. We have the applied circuits you can uh, see. Protection there. Then applied circuit protection December 22. Okay. Okay, these are successful staging of our second technical seminar on November 9th motor starting. This is uh, actually engineer uh, Balmis. This is the engineer Balmis, the PE chair. Archie Balmes, he is the PE, our, our resources speaker, uh, distinguished one, 
GDP and this is a uh, general field of our president okay this is our batch of uh, second attendees so I hope uh, to see you there in uh, our next uh, 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 seminar in our office and uh, and I hope you will uh, continue to watch my video and uh, like it and uh, share it and uh, also subscribe to it uh, because my next video presentations will be uh, uh, having a, uh, a sharing method of uh, the electrical dimensions that we are going to use here. Thank you so much and have a good day. Thank you.